the star in your own movie, pretty much. You're the star in your own life, which is basically a movie, right? So you want to capture that in so many different ways to make it look like a little mini movie, to make it look interesting. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This reflection is a bit weird, but anyways, I uh, just want to do a quick intro. This is going to be a video showing you guys how I edit my TikTok videos. Um, a little bit behind the scenes as well to give you some, you know, helpful tricks and tips. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, don't gatekeep, gorgeous, gorgeous girl, show you how to do things. So here we got my phone, as you can see, excuse my raggedy ass nails. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your camera lens is keen. And I know this is self-explanatory and for some people it's very obvious, but some people don't actually think about these things. But this is the first thing that I always do when I do anything, pictures or videos. I just take my whatever I'm wearing and I just take it and I literally just wipe it like this as you can see making sure it's all clean here I am as you can see that you never shoot in a TikTok app like you do not want to use this camera up unless you absolutely have to unless you're doing like a trend and you're dancing and you need actual song to like make sure you're on the beat or whatever you're doing but if you're doing a vlog or anything that has to do with like close-up shots detail shots you just you just lifestyle even fashion and never use the app in TikTok because the quality is not great enough. Which brings me to my next step. Settings. And you're gonna go into camera. And these are my camera settings as you can see. I shoot at 4K at 60 FPS. That's like the highest quality. Uh, these are my other settings. I put HDR on and yeah, all the other ones are off. Slow-mo, I don't really use slow-mo. I don't think I've ever even used slow-mo. So I just think this is just uh, the setting it comes on. So this part of the video I'm shooting with my iPhone just because I kind of want to show you guys the camera I'm using. Um, because I also use this when I shoot some of my TikTok clips when I want really crisp and nice quality or if I'm shooting for a brand, an ad or something like that, I like to use this. And this is the Sony CVE-10, not to be confused with the Sony CV-1. So this is a newer version of the CV-1 and the main differences as far as I know is obviously it has interchangeable lenses as you can see. You can pretty much put any lens on here which takes your camera to the next level. So whether you're shooting beauty, you know, landscape, portraits, whatever, you can just customize your camera. You get so much more out of this camera. Um, it is predominantly a vlog camera and it also shoots in 4K as you can see. Um, the other good thing I think the CV1 don't do is that this one, you can actually charge it while you're using it. So, you know, when you see YouTubers and they're like, oh, sorry, guys, my camera died. Mm, you won't have that problem because you can literally charge it while you're filming. And that's like a game changer. Anyway, so I shoot with this camera and then I like to use my 50mm lens. You can zoom out. You can only zoom in, but you can't zoom out. And you just click and that's it. I can try and show you guys how it looks. If you can see here, you can really see the details. And I'm just going to zoom back out. So you can zoom back out, but only to 50 millimeters. So, so the other lens I have is this 16 to 50. Yeah, so this is 16 to 50. And this one is just 50. Um, but the quality of the 50 on this one is much better, meaning that you, you can capture more details and like the crispiness of it. And of course, if you're shooting for TikTok, you want to make sure that you hold the camera like this so that you get the 16 by nine format. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, the next thing is to make sure you have really good lighting. As you can see, I have my curtains closed. That's only because of privacy reasons. I don't want to show you obviously my view. So this ideally would not be a good filming setting. As you can see, it's dark because the windows is behind me. So when you shoot anything, pictures, videos, make sure that the light is always behind the camera, not behind you. Behind the camera, not behind you now that i flipped it you see the major difference right of how much lighting does to you i don't use any lights when i do my tiktoks i literally just use daylight i try to shoot in the mornings because that's like the best quality of course if you're out and about and you can't you don't have good light or if you're out in the evening it's a bit tricky you gotta use flash other things also just to say i never shoot a whole video in one day it's not like a okay i'm gonna shoot a video today and i'm gonna post it it's literally organic. It's like every time I'm out, 
I'll just do a little clip here and there if I'm in the grocery store or eating dinner or if I'm, I don't know, whatever I'm doing, I'm just kind of making sure I'm capturing a small snippet of that so that I later on have loads of clips to go back to that I can just put into a vlog. What will make your video stand out is if you shoot from different angles. That's something that they do in all the time in movies and literally making a vlog or a TikTok vlog, mini vlog, is all about you're just, you're the star in your own movie pretty much. You're the star in your own life, which is basically a movie, right? So you want to capture that in so many different ways to make it look like a little mini movie, to make it look interesting and to not look it, if it's just in one frame, that's going to be pretty boring to watch. People want to see quick, catchy um, shots, um, you know, nice transitions and of course good quality. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. What I like to do is I like to start off shooting just like a normal frame. Then I like to zoom in on the clip to shoot a close-up on that. Some people might just shoot the whole clip and then they'll zoom in once they're in the editing app. I don't do that because number one, I just want a better quality. That's the number one. There's no other, there's no number two. You have to zoom in. See what I did there? When you're shooting, not afterwards, because it makes all the difference. So as you see here, I am now going to show you kind of just how I would do a clip if I'm doing the dishes or something. So I purposely left this mess here as you can see in the background. Normally I would of course not show up like this, but yeah, just to show you guys. So I would start off um, obviously positioning the camera. Sometimes I do like a test to see if I'm actually in the frame, but usually I know where to stand. And obviously I just press it. I'm just pretending I'm doing dishes now, okay? Not really gonna do it, but you know, blah blah blah. Then I will stop. And then I will do the zoom in. So I will zoom in to like 1.8. Because I feel like anything after like 1.9 is like just gonna be blurry. Sometimes I will also move the tripod a bit closer. Um, then I will continue. Again, I'm just going to pretend that I'm doing the dishes here. I'm not really going to do it. I don't know why my camera is focusing on my phone, not me. But anyways, you don't need to see me right now. So yeah, I'm just going to do this, blah, blah, blah. So remember how I was talking about angles? This is really hard to film, guys, because my fridge is literally behind this camera. So I can't even put the tripod anywhere else. But I've now moved the camera to this side of the sink. Because again, angles is everything. So again, I'm going to press record. Blah, blah, blah. And then I might stop. But again, just zoom in a bit. And continue. So you see that? Well, you don't really see it, but you will see it when we actually make this video. Another thing that will make your videos stand out is if you kind of do like smooth zooming in and what I mean with that is I will show you but this is something you can't do um, without holding the phone or having the phone on a tripod you have to use your hands to do this you for example you start to record and then you do this do 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 in and out in and out like so Another really cool thing is when you do the stop motion, and I'm sure you've seen it all over TikTok. It is basically when you make an object just kind of move by itself. It looks like it's moving by itself. And I'm going to demonstrate that using these books. The camera keeps focusing on the iPhone, so it's not realizing what's going on in the background. Super annoying, but you get the point. So, what you need to do to remember when you do this is to make sure that you do not move the camera or the tripod during any circumstances. If you move this, it's gonna mess up the whole thing and you'll see why because it needs to look like it was all shot in the same frame. So what you do is you take your first object and you place it here. Make sure you step out of the frame and leave it for like one, two seconds. That's all you gotta do. Just gotta count to one, two. Then you place the next object, move away from the frame, count one, two, and the next one, step away. One, two, and so forth. So as you can see, I have left some jeans on my bed just for the purpose of this video. 
haven't really done my bed properly either because we're going to do that as well. But uh, this kind of stop motion thing works the same way if you're removing something or if you're just putting something down. So I'm going to put my camera here. I'm going to start by removing the first jeans, stepping out of frame. And what's really important here is to make sure that nothing else moves. Again, like if, if you take this jean and this moves this way, you're going to have a different shot because the jeans were not like that when you started. So you have to make sure that whatever you like remove from the frame stays the same during the whole frame. So let's just start again just to show you. Taking this, stepping out the frame, next jeans carefully, stepping out the frame and then once you're halfway through, what are you going to do? You're going to zoom in just a little bit for extra effect. Step out the frame and then lastly, and there you have it. This is kind of hard because I'm trying to not show my um, my view, but yeah, I just want to do like a really cl quick clip. So I'm just pressing record and just moving the phone a bit to get like a little. So this will be like a what I call like a filler clip because you need some type of filler clips in between what you're doing. Okay, so perfect. So as you can see, for the purpose of this video, I've just kind of removed my pillows. <laughs> Of course, I will zoom in a close up shot, so the last shot, something like that. I need to head out. I'm gonna take you guys grocery shopping with me. I'm kind of pretty much ready. I'm just gonna put some perfume on and um. Anyone else layer their perfume with body spray or is it just me? I just love it. I got my perfume and then I got this. I know people are like, oh, you still wearing Victoria's Secret. Yes, I still wear Victoria's Secret. This, don't sleep on this. Obviously for TikToks, I don't bring my camera, but I'm bringing it so I can show you behind the scenes of me shooting with my iPhone. So let's go. I'm currently in Sainsbury's. As you can see, I'm by the glassware stuff because the grocery part is very, very busy at this time. So I'm not really want to do that. So got my phone out, ready to record. I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to press record and then place the phone right here. It's a little bit on the edge. This is very, very risky, but it will work. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah, so that's great. This aisle is very empty, so I'm actually going to put you guys here. This is better. Press and record. I'm putting it on a lower shelf this time. Um, so I actually need to get a new Caesar salad dressing, so I'm here now. This aisle is pretty empty, good for me. So I'm going to set up another shot, but I'm going to do like facing me instead of being backwards so it's gonna be like here okay mission complete I've done a few shots got some content <laughs> Please follow the instructions on the yeah.